Sapa is a small town in Vietnam which is located in the Lao Cai province amidst dry fields, valleys and mountains at an altitude of over 1.5 kilometers in the northwest part of the country. I want to share our experience of spending two days there. I show scenic rice terraces and bamboo groves and a cable car ride to Mount Fansipan. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment about your favorite part and don't forget to subscribe for more content. There are several ways to get SAP from Hanoi and one of them is by train. We bought tickets on 12go.asia two days before our trip and if you want to get cabin only for two people you need to buy it a little bit earlier. The night was okay except for the loud noise from the train wheels but I was prepared for that. However, in the morning we had a wonderful awakening. Listen. By the way, there is a button above the door, don't forget to turn it off before going to sleep. So it's 7.30 am now and we have already arrived to Sapo from Hawkeye train station. We found some mini bus and it cost 60,000 dong per person. Chicken in our hotel is at 2 p.m. and now it's 8.30 a.m. So we decided to take a walk around the city and then we will check in. First of all, we decided to go to Mount Phan Span, which is the highest mountain in Vietnam and also known as the roof of Indochina, that stands 3,133 meters tall. The first highlight of Fancy Pan is the funicular train going from Sapa Town to the cable car station. The train passes through a few tunnels and crosses an impressive viaduct with some of the best views during the ride. And then the cable car comes next. Through panoramic windows, breathtaking landscapes unfold. You can see mountain slopes, rivers and waterfalls, the center of Sapa and Hamro, as well as villages nestled in the Muang Hua Valley. But remember, if the weather is bad in Sapa, you won't see anything as you ascend on the cable car, including at the summit. Choose a sunny and clear weather day in Sapa to admire the valley and rice terraces. At the mountain summit, you will encounter pagodas, a Buddha statue, several cafes, souvenir shops, and of course, beautiful views. We got hungry, so we decided to eat right here. And I think we will take foga and fofo. My fofo, and it cost 95,000 don. And this is foga, which is cost 95,000 don too. Now it's time to get back and show you our hotel. 
We stayed at Sapper Hills Hotel where one night cost $17. The staff and hotel itself were really great and I can recommend this place. The only downside was that it was noisy due to the street outside. So, this is our view. And now we are going to Kat Kat village, which is the closest traditional home village to Sapa. It's not really a convenient way to reach Kat Kat, so I don't know, maybe there is another road. Photo spots, market. Here are a lot of photo spots. Again, Hmong traditional house. Yeah, I think we'll watch it. You can see how many tourists here and souvenir shops and even in Homon traditional house there were souvenir shops, I didn't like it. Instead of traditional spirit of village we got a lot of people and photo spots. After Cat Cat Village, we decided to stop by a fancy Pantera's cafe and homestay and had tasty drinks with beautiful view. You can also meet several adorable poodles living there. Now let's take a walk around the city. Many articles say that Sapo likes any nightlife, but I didn't find it to be the case. Life here is bustling at night, but we went to sleep because, as you remember, we woke up at 5 am. We came here for the second time because it's so beautiful. Now we're heading to our mini trek from Sapa to the Muanhua Valley. The sounds of nature and beauty of rice terraces are so exquisite that I want to leave this part of our adventure without any words. Just enjoy the beautiful views and this atmosphere.
After reaching the Muanhua Valley, we had a meal at a cafe called a Fu restaurant and started our journey back towards Sapa. The weather became so hot that we decided to cover a part of the way on bikes. Unfortunately, we didn't choose the best road as it ran alongside a busy road. However, there were still moments where we caught glimpses of beautiful views. After reaching the city, we had some pizza at Chicago Pizza and headed to the bus stop from where we took a bus to the train station. Sapa is a wonderful place thanks to the people who have been working in the rice fields for decades and now we can admire these beautiful views. But Sapa is also a super touristy place and it seems to me that two days will be enough if you're not planning on doing two or more days trekking. In one day you can visit Pansipan Mountain by taking the funicular and cable car and take a walk around the town. I don't recommend visiting Cat Cat Village, it's crowded, full of souvenir shops and plenty of forest spots. You won't find anything unique there and you won't get a true sense of the village life as many articles mention. For the other day, dedicated to a mini trekking through the rice fields, our final destination was Muanhua Valley and we used organic maps app to get there. It's really amazing, so peaceful and beautiful, so make sure not to leave Sapa without taking a walk through the rice fields. I hope you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel videos. Bye bye!